chin a reality. Earlier this year, Microsoft shared some bold sustainability goals. One of them is to become carbon negative. That means we will cut our emissions by more than half and remove more carbon than we emit every year across our entire business, including our supply and value chains. We then plan to take it a step further. We will remove from the environment by 2050 all the carbon we have emitted either directly or via electricity consumption since we have started as a company. We are proud to play our role in a sustainable future, but we know that a successful energy transition depends on a collective effort that involves investment and input across the entire energy sector. Take Shell, for example. They are a Microsoft customer, valued supplier, and most importantly, a trusted partner on our energy endeavors. More specifically, they are one of the world's largest energy companies with decades of expertise in innovating and delivering energy solutions for tomorrow. This past January, we set a target to have 100% of the energy we require across our operations, data centers, buildings, and campuses be delivered by wind, solar, and hydropower sources. This target is only possible because of our partnership with Shell. Today, Dan Jevons, the general manager of Shell's data and science organization, will join me to share more about this work. But first, let's hear from Hybert Vigaveno, downstream director and executive committee member. Microsoft and Shell each have bold ambitions to decarbonize and a rich history of innovation. Digital technology will play a key role in the energy transition, which is where the expertise of Shell and Microsoft meets. Together we will develop, test and deliver technologies that push the boundaries of what can be achieved. In Shell operations, we are already tracking carbon emissions with tools running on Microsoft Azure. We are very proud of our relationship, and today we are going further. We will build products and services to help businesses and industrial customers understand their environmental impact, capture reliable data, and offer practical solutions to lower their carbon emissions. We can unlock tremendous value for Shell, Microsoft, and our customers. Hey, Dan, thanks for joining me. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I wish we were able to be in person, but uh, we'll have to make this studio thing here work for us. Well, hey, maybe I can do something about that, but um, we may need some safety equipment. Hmm, all right. What do you have in mind? Hey, wow. Uh, this will certainly help, but uh, now I'm intrigued. Where, where are we going, Dan? Let me show you. So here we are, we're at one of our LNG facilities. These assets are massive, and it's really core to our whole strategy that we start to transform these assets as we go through energy transition. We're aggregating over 10 billion rows of data every week from these things, and we've got over a trillion rows of data to date. And we're excited about what we can do with that data. Let me show you. Awesome. Hey, you know, I'm, I've always been a digital twin fan, Dan, but I never thought I would actually be a part of one. <laughs> <laughs> we're rolling these out right across our business, and we're using that trillion rows of data that I talked about to ingest into these twins so that our operators and our facility managers can start to see what's going on in real time. And we're working with our partners like Consberg to do that. We're using C3 technology running on Microsoft Azure in order to predict when things are gonna fail. And we've done this for about 2000 pieces of equipment to date. We can use this data to optimize the facility that you see. And that has a big impact in terms of production. That's awesome, Dan. Like, I, I love what you're doing here because it brings to bear so many assets uh, that we have that are, are differentiated across our partnership from the IoT sensor fabric itself through the large data estates on Azure, the machine learning capabilities, and the digital twin, all providing this awesome feedback loop so that uh, the folks on the ground at Shell are actually getting the real time insights on how to evolve uh, the operations. Let me show you what else is going on at the site. Time out. We're using drones like this one all across our facility to help keep our inspectors out of harm's way. 
What's really exciting about this is that the machine vision technology is actually approaching the level of human inspectors. And we can identify common issues like corrosion really easily and far more efficiently than we ever could before. That's awesome, Dan. And what I love about it is you're not just using technology for technology's sake. There's a real purpose behind it. You're using it to help make your employees safer and actually have greater yield on the business outcomes. And all of this work is, is done with Azure? Yeah, exactly. So we're running all of those machine vision models that we talked about on the Azure cloud. This is really incredible, Dan. So uh, let's jump right in here. Uh, Dan, you, you, uh, you're almost like watching a mad scientist here. You've done really fantastic work to look at you know, how can teams become effectively the new user experience? How can low-code, no-code technologies like power apps be put to work to obsolesce older um, and, and legacy application environments? Then looking at uh, third-party SaaS environments and platforms and thinking about how um, they can modernize Shell's environment. And of course, all of the data platform assets, the AI work, uh, the real true hardcore developer work that you're doing with GitHub. I, I think though, to me, what's most impressive is how you're wiring it all together and really creating solutions that matter for Shell and for your employees and for your customers. Um, how are you flowing all of this together? Yeah, it's a great question. And I think the key is actually, but we're bringing these things together in common platforms and pulling services together to allow us to innovate quickly. We're trying to do as little as we can ourselves. We want to leverage the digital capabilities that others provide and tailor the specifics to our business to drive immediate business impact. Awesome. Let's talk about Shell.ai. First of all, what is Shell.ai and, and what are your goals and um, what do you hope to achieve? Well, I think Shell.ai is really a change program. We recognized pretty early in this journey that we could develop all the cool tech in the world, but actually the challenge is making it real and making it matter for people in the field. And to do that, people have to be able to envisage a different world. We've worked really hard on building a community. The community is now about 4,000 people. We run multiple events per month. We develop common training programs and we run things like hackathons across the business. And, and all of this comes together to help us shape the community in a way that they're willing to receive and embrace the new technology and deploy it at scale in the field. So can you tell us a little bit more about um, how you're trying to shape the community? Well, it starts with common tool sets. So we talked already about the stack. We're using uh, common Microsoft Foundation tools, things like Databricks and ADLS Gen 2 as the core of bringing all that data together. We're also using things like Event Hub, which are key to some of that streaming technology that you saw. And then on top of that, we're using capabilities like C3 to develop the predictive maintenance models, but also self-service tools, things like Alteryx and Power BI. So that's one aspect of it. I think th the second aspect, which is really important, is that we're trying to make sure that the cases that we work on really matter, yeah. that they're high value and real impactful cases both for our internal business, I mentioned optimization and predictive maintenance, but also for some of our new businesses that might be things in the sustainability space. That's fantastic, Dan. Look, uh, again, fantastic use of technology, uh, huge impact, obviously, to Shell's operations, and most importantly, uh, a huge impact on the planet. Uh, the investments that Shell has made in sustainability are noteworthy. You know well the commitments we've made uh, to sustainability, and frankly, we can't get there without you. Last thing I think, Dan, you've had the opportunity to get a sneak peek on some of the announcements that uh, we, we, we've made here this week at Ignite. And I just love uh, to get your feedback on the things that excite you most about what we're announcing in the data and AI space here at Microsoft. Yeah, thanks so much. And, and just to say, I, I think what's really cool is the, the shared vision of the world that, that we have around how these technologies can be deployed in businesses like ours. I know you're increasing the focus on Delta and Delta Lake. And I think particularly some of the uh, enablement that you're bringing to that to really upscale and extend the capabilities and also enable streaming technology yeah. will be really useful. And I think the second piece is the investment in mixed reality and trying to link uh, the digital and the physical world by those common objects. And I think, as you've seen, that physical and digital is coming ever closer together and finding ways to bridge that is going to really help that adoption. That's awesome, Dan. I really appreciate it. You're putting technology to work for purpose and purpose that really is aligned to Shell's business and the outcomes that matter for the planet. So thanks very much, Dan, for, for being with me here today. Thanks for coming with me on the tour. 
Let's meet 